We want to take a look at now a couple of stocks which is suggested by our graduate here, uh, Gamunda. Okay, you got uh, this is a daily chart of a Gamunda, right? As you can see, Gamunda is actually flowing in a very beautiful downtrend here. Okay, uh, for, uh, beautiful downtrend in here. So you have a change of behavior. But today, what I don't like about today is uh, it actually hits the old resistance that we're seeing now. Yeah, the old resistance here, which is was the old support. Now we can see an uptrust in here. Now that doesn't look good. So the market was going to retest back. Here. If you're still bullish about Gamunda, look for it to pull back to about 280, 275 level in here. That's a good level to be buying because uh, and your stop loss will be around two dollars sixty. Uh, overall, Gamunda seems to be uh, have a change of behavior from moving from a downtrend to a sideways market down. That's that's very good because you have a uh, uh, one, two, three, four, four. Up bars last week, so the market has actually stopped its temporary downtrend. So next week, going to the first week of October, it's going to be sort of moving sideways. Now, don't be too bearish for what it says. We have a, a down month for August. We have a down month for uh, September. So October month, if you look at seasonally, everywhere in the world, it's always the most bearish. So you say you have the Black October, you have all these big crashes. However, Right, you always have to be a contrarian. While people think is is bearish, it might see an up price with all this development because a lot of bad news is already being priced into the market. So what you're gonna get down is unless yeah, Europe comes in and say they're gonna default the parliamentary rule by the uh, the Germans. Uh, parliament said that you know the uh, the bailout is is invalid. Then you will see it, it will go further. Now a point you want to take note is the US Dow Jones, which is the uh, below ten thousand level. If it falls below ten thousand level, then you will see uh, the market likely to slip into uh, something worse off than a recession or a very gradual or stagnant kind of growth, uh, less than uh, two percent for GDP, or around one percent GDP for the US market in here. All right. So I wouldn't be too okay. Uh, next one was uh, DIB High Comma. Oh, Bank Islam, B I M B. Okay, okay. Now, Bank Bank Islam in here again. It falls plateau back to its old uh, support that we have in here. Okay, so this is the old support. It it went through a uh, stage one, stage two. Okay, a markup, a distribution you have here, a uh, sort of a double top and way down in here. However, there were no more volume. I like to see more volume in here. The market just Hopped and you just stop around here. It's supported in here. So for me, anyway, the trend is still down, right? And remember what we we taught you in our classes, yeah? Market just don't have a V, uh, V shape recovery immediately. Most of the time, you will have a U shape, uh, a U shape recovery, which will actually take time. Especially now we're in the bear market. If a market would be in the in a bull market, yes, V shape would definitely work. So now we are not really in the in the bull market, but um, we are in the bear market. So look for u-shaped recovery and that's why we have uh, an uptrust here on very low volume you see this this volume here is very low so the market is going to continue to to flow back up remember what i said earlier huh? if you have a chart in here this becomes the resistant okay this is a resistant low volume resistant looking for low volume so the market may come back and retest now unless the dividend payout by bbmb is good you might want to hold this else this one looks like it's going to come back and retest the 160 165 level in here okay just a three day up followed by a one day down in here so next week you know if the market were to close below the 175 uh, we might see it test back to 160 65 level here okay so uh one more stock Okay, so uh, we have two. Okay, sorry. TM. Okay, TM. This is the next stock we're gonna look at. Again, TM. Ah, uh, beautiful up trust in here. You got another up three days of of up trust in here. So to allow uh, the insider to distribute at at the old high in here, came back sell down. Then you got ultra high volume. That looks like a stopping value. But perhaps because that's the actual fundamental value of telecom at four dollars. And now today, ah. Uh, all the stocks go through what we have seen just now for BBMB as well as uh, what uh, this what stock will Gamunda. All are going through up trust now. A lot of time when you see up trust like this, like this, yeah, this one in here, you you want to see uh, the market not go below 
that's that's very important when you see an uptrust like this the market if perhaps continue on a sideways market or drift or on uh, on on slightly higher that's good meaning people are selling into the strength however there will no follow through on the downside yeah so if next week we see a sell back down to 395 four dollars looks like we may see it break down lower perhaps uh, that's all going to depend what's coming out from the Malaysia. But don't forget, uh, next week it's also our Malaysian budget 2011 next Friday leading up. So that's some possible profit taking. But however, looking at it, there won't be much yeah, uh, sell down leading to it. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, to take some position on JTI and all those sin stocks. Uh, there are a lot of talks like cigarettes or uh, uh, alcohol beverages will be taxed. However, if there's no tax, you'll see all these stocks will shoot back up. So that represents an opportunity for that. All right. Thank you for for listening. That's all I have for this uh, stock analysis. Can you announce?